So this is the second battle, and in the book it is titled No Better Place to Die. This represents the second counterattack on June 7th. Okay. All right. So it deviates to 5 o'clock, total of 12. About 3 and 2.6 roughly. Oh, 3? 3.6. 3.6, right there. Right there. Okay. Right there. Second round deviates to two o'clock at ten. Ten is three centimeters exactly. Ten o'clock would be that way. Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually three centimeters right there. Right there. Okay. We've had all night. Yeah, it is it is accurate fire, but you're right. They've been centimeters at seven o'clock. They've been zeroing it in all night. And the final round is nine o'clock at nineteen. Nineteen equates to five point seven centimeters. So this was the opening barrage, and unbeknownst to the Germans, uh, I rolled to see what, if any, damage there was to the U.S. side. And here's what we came up with. Oh, okay. And the Germans have drawn chip number two. And here's chip number two for the U.S. It's that number or above that can act. So orders are placed first. The U.S. really has right. nothing that it can do. So it's going to wait until so the Germans hands. move into position. Or, um, he can come on. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong Five captured French town. Are we ready for chip number three? First thing we do is we check IDs, then we do attacks, movement is last. So there are no IDs, there is no attack, movement is next. Okay, end of the phase. Shit number four for the U.S. are placed. Any IDs on your part? No, we're too busy watching them. Yeah, no smoke, no attacks. All right, so move, movement is next.
my green tank's going to pretend like he's dead and he'll blend in with the other dead tanks. <laughs> yeah. The last chip for turn one means that every unit may act. Anyone with a TQR of one and above. Range is 31. There are no IDs, so the German is placing smoke. One is point blank range. So he starts out as green. He's at what, 65? Spot. And we roll 69, so that's a miss. So it's a D12, and I think it's a D4 for deviation. D4 for deviation. Okay. Right. Okay. So it's deviating one yard at 8 o'clock, 6 side. So the German smoke lands right oh, there at the bend. August, August of the bend. And next is the movement phase. All five chits have been drawn. That's the end of turn one. The chits are returned to the cup, and we repeat the process for turn two. No IDs for the U.S. There's still nothing that I can see. So your orders are down. Yep. No attacks, no smoke. So it's movement. Most of this is just German movement. Very little opportunity for the U.S. to do much at this point. So the Germans are going to place yeah. another smoke round. Yeah, you can't see any farther than that. So. Um, was a 35% chance? Yeah. To land it right on. Oh, 60. It's only a 30% chance because he's a green. He's ah, right. Ninety-three. He missed. Shooting smoke again. So, for my orders, all exposed units are taking cover. So, the Germans have changed their pattern somewhat after a brief delay. It's going to be a line this way, Roger. The volley is going okay. to fall. We'll start one or zero right here, and we'll go 28 centimeters. Let's go right for this. You're on two walls of it. All right. Next one deviates to two o'clock, and it's going 24. 24 is 7.2 at two o'clock. 7.2. Two. That's good. Ah. I'd say it's right on the top of the. That's the final disposition. And now we will turn so. 
So the big barrage came in. Last time we did a five and six. And the engineer takes three damage points and is suppressed. And so this is the first hit of turn three. Here, three, and there's an attack right here. And the Germans did an area search, which reveals a series of rifle pits and foxholes, represented by this number three. The USAT gun fired two rounds at the lead R35, and the R35 is in point. The US has a machine gun positioned in the bottom floor of building number 31 and it fired on this infantry unit but missed. 20. And the artillery is coming in again. Oh, no, I'll just do, I'm sorry, I should do a 28. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes, at 6 centimeters. Second one is at uh, 15 centimeters. One is at 19 centimeters. And the last round is at 15 centimeters. Alright, now for deviation, we'll work a couple of back on our side. So that artillery came in, pretty much peppered this area. And the bazooka team fired up that tank, hit it, but it didn't penetrate. Or actually, it's not a matter of didn't penetrate. A rocket failed to detonate. Kick these down. This is now a six on the green. This one. This is the away. start of turn four, and the one means that everyone can act. That means TQR of one can act. Independent action two, three, and four. So the German tank fires at my bazooka. He misses, and the bazooka man in his slit trench survives it. I fire back at the bazooka, I hit him again, but it fails to detonate once again. Lousy rockets, and there's the bazooka. And my machine gun fired at the tank commander, but missed it. So this tank rolled over the daisy chain, and he tank mine, and mobilized and crew bail. So finally on my third shot, I hit the tank, which is right here, but I hit him in the track. There was a 60% chance that I mobilized him. I did, and as you can see, the crew bailed out. And the German smoke still makes it impossible to get a target. All right, that's our our orders are down. We're done. <laughs> what do you want, right, so I almost think too, especially these long buildings. Engineer team dashes into this building, and the Germans continue to smoke that area up. Awful congested, they still haven't gotten across the bridge. And this is chip one of turn five. And this is chip two of turn five. So this takes and down to ready to one. Place our orders. This goes to a three. We count the smoke down. Smoke lasts for six actions. This is the last four 8.0 centimeter mortar rounds that the Germans have. So we use 15 down, same angle. 15. Yeah, that's the same angle. Okay. Right on top of the tree. Yeah, it has to deviate. Yep. 18. Again. It is 10. All right. And the mortars peppered this complex and the anti tank and the crew is destroyed. Here we are in the last hit of turn five, and the Germans are beginning to come across the river. Uh, so I have a crossfire on this 
right here. We've got another attack going on here. I have a squad in building R26. It's firing on him. I have a squad in building Didn't 60. There? It's firing oh. on this guy that's trying to that's make it across the bridge. And this tank is attacking the building where Lieutenant Oakley is. Once again, the last shot caused the machine gun to be suppressed. I lost my fire zone. And this machine gun is actually going to join the attack on him. The Americans opened up. Had three attacks, all three misses. The last attack, I had tens or less on a D20 and still couldn't hit. And the tank is standing off and pounding the building again. <clears throat> the Germans swarm across the bridge. And I had my chance to stop them. I thought that, that first squad was dead meat. And there's still a ton of them on the move. So there is a rifle squad in building R26, and he's attacking this squad over by the window, or by the stone wall. There's a squad in building 60. There's one man coming this one. <laughs> That's a full squad, and he's attacking this one. And there's a near melee about to happen, but my machine gun gets to attack him first, out in the open. And the bazooka's trying to defend himself by attacking this section here. Well, I finally made a roll. So the machine gun, I rolled a 1, that's double damage. Rolled an 8 on a D8, 16 damage points. That squad that was about ready to jump in my slit trench is now gone. So the machine gun and the bazooka both fired him. He takes a few more damage points, but not much. And the Germans are firmly on the east bank, moving deeper, and there's not a thing I can do to stop it. This one took quite a bit of damage from the squad right across from him from point blank range, but he passed his morale save. The machine gun finally eliminated the enemy unit that was trying to assault the bazooka team. Roger, if you don't have any more smoke here, and this squad this is going away, you're going to have a little bit of trouble unless they move fast this next time. Was nailed. Are they, are they set for move? And he's suppressed, well, but he managed to go half of his double time move. Oh, yeah, lots of smoke. The 37 that had fired on that main building where my commander is, where Oakley is, did catch fire. And now they will have to banner that. Yeah, going to attack it from him. Point blank. Um, yeah. And that's where I'll finish. Okay.